He said a few stern words in Dutch, and the little man shrank away. Then he turned upon me, gazing at me in the utmost amazement. How in the world did you come here? he asked. Wait a bit. I see that you are tired out, and that wounded shoulder of yours wants looking after. I am a doctor, and I'll soon have you bandaged. But man alive, you are in far greater danger here than you ever were on the battlefield. You are in the leper hospital, and you have slept in a leper's bed. Need I tell you more, Jimmy? It seems that in view of the approaching battle, all these poor creatures had been evacuated the day before. Then, as the British advanced, they had been brought back by this, their medical superintendent, who assured me that, though he believed he was immune to the disease, he would nonetheless never have dared to do what I had done. He put me in a private room, treated me kindly, and within a week or so I was taken to the General Hospital at Pretoria.